You know, a study was conducted by the World Bank showing that when people own land, the productivity tends to increase because they see that as their own asset. So what can we do to support women to own, to have more and more ownership when it comes to land? And land also is one of the major collateral forms of collateral that is requested by the commercial bank. So if we are able to answer to this question, definitely we will be able to support the women in Africa. And the answer to this question is the goal of AFAWA. AFAWA wants to answer to all these questions. Supporting women when it comes to access to finance, access to land, access to security, be able to participate fully to the economic activity of their countries. Studies show that women, they transfer 90% of their income to their family. Pay for school fees, for all the household bills, which is good. But on, the, but on the other hand, they're the ones who have the lowest income. So imagine if they, if they were the one transferring the majority of their income and they were also the one having a good income. What will be the situation of our family? That's why AGF is committed to continue to working with the banks, with microfinance, with all financial institutions to support women entrepreneurs through the AFAWA program. We are here to discuss the African Development Bank Group Affirmative Finance Action for Women in Africa, an initiative, as you've already heard, we like to call AFAWA in short. And this is because we believe that AFAWA, with the support and collaboration of all of you in this room, can help bridge the estimated 42 billion financing gap between men and women entrepreneurs in Africa. What does a financing gap mean? It means that too many women entrepreneurs across the continent are denied opportunities to grow their businesses. And while every country is unique, women across most African countries face a similar set of challenges. And therefore, the idea behind this AFAWA Finance Series is to, for us, simply demystify the perceptions about women-led small and medium enterprises being risky investment. The reality is that women are better, much better, at repaying loans than men. But also we heard it that uh, women typically reinvest up to 90% of their income in education, in health, in nutrition of their families, nuclear families, extended families, their communities. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the African Development Bank for initiating such a noble program, the Affirmative Finance Action for Women in Africa that will promote access and use of finance for women, small businesses, medium-sized enterprises. Thank you from the women of Kenya and of Africa. Your focus today on closing the financing gap for women could not be more timely. This is a low-tech solution for a low-tech problem that has high impact. It only takes our collective resolve to act now. Kenya is well positioned to take advantage of the economic powerhouse that women represent. Eight out of every 10 Kenyans, which is 83.7%, have access to formal financial services. Empowering women to participate effectively in economic activities and financial decision making is crucial. Women need to be equipped with financial knowledge, confidence and skills to help them choose appropriate financial services and products as well as develop and manage entrepreneurial activities. Finally, financial institutions face a major challenge in understanding and responding to the unique needs of women entrepreneurs. We need innovative approaches to improve women's credit worth worthiness. Traditional collateral requirements only serve to reinforce gender inequalities, but with the help of the digital technology, alternative solutions are becoming increasingly available.
on to the conversation, uh, Madam. Let me show that the women who are participating in economic activity. To expand the number of women in the Thank you very much, and I wish you a few good days of work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A gender transformative initiative in both the fund as well as the